All right, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna be changing the oil in the Honda Navi. And uh, we've already let it run on the center stand for a couple minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. But for the oil, we are using the Pro Honda Full Synthetic 10W30. We just need one quart of that. And you're gonna need a ratchet and a 12 and 17 millimeter socket. Uh, or a 12 and 17 wrench, if that's all you have. And we also will be using a torque wrench to uh, torque these to spec, but we'll go into that once, uh, uh, once we get there. And uh, we're going to be also using a funnel and a tub to store all the used oil in. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're on the right side of the bike with the exhaust and the oil fill cap. So we're going to go ahead and take that off, set that aside, and we're going to use the uh, 12 millimeter socket and start draining the oil out. Ha! Didn't get any oil on me. Go ahead and reinstall it. The bolt. Or, and if you're not checking the uh, oil filter, you can uh, go ahead and start filling it back up. But uh, uh, it's always good to check it, and it won't hurt. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that next. So we'll have to jump to the other side of the bike. All right, so we're on the right. The, um, now we're on the left side of the bike uh, by the rear tire, and we're going to be removing this bolt right here to get to the oil filter screen and uh, to clean it up and put it back in. And you might notice that I got this uh, paper, like oil absorbent towel underneath it as uh, my oil container didn't fit under here, so. to try to alleviate as much mess as possible. Wow. It's a lot dirtier than I anticipated. Uh, we'll go ahead and clean that up and throw it back in. That's why you probably should check it every time you do the oil just to be safe. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be that dirty. And to clean it up, we're gonna be using uh, WD-40. Now we use WD-40 on a lot of things, like on the other bikes, they have chains, so we uh, always use WD-40 to, to clean the chains now, since it doesn't have the smell of kerosene. But uh, WD-40 is safe to use on a lot of things, so, and it's uh, pretty available to, most people have it, so it's always good. Use what you got. Now, if you have a torque wrench, it's always a good idea to torque things to the factory specs. And for the oil filter screen cap, it is 14 foot-pounds. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now that wasn't very tight, so be careful when you're doing tightening these bolts. Now we're going to go ahead and hop on to the other side here, uh, where the uh, oil drain bolt is on the uh, exhaust side of the bike, and uh, torque it to its specified 18 foot-pounds. All right, we're back on the right side of the bike, and I've uh, got the 12 millimeter socket on it, our torque wrench. And we're going to go ahead and tighten the last bolt. All right. Now we can start filling it up. All right, we got the uh, full synthetic Honda oil. Going to go ahead and pour in 0.7 liters as per the uh, shop manual for the Navi. And we'll... Uh, 
put the cap on, start it up, check the level, and fill as needed. So the Navi ended up taking uh, 0.8 liters. And uh, while I have you, I thought it'd be cool to uh, show off the damage from the bear a little bit better. You can see the uh, bite mark here. We didn't think it was a bite mark at first until we saw the back side where the back teeth bit in. And then the claw marks, I'll go in and uh, file that down so it doesn't look as noticeable on that side and then up top there. And a little bit right there. And then on this face, you got a little bit of claw right there. And then he ended up taking the chunk out of the plastic down here. Let's see. This piece right here came out a little bit further, but knocked a chunk off. You can kind of see. See the chunk there? And then scratch right there. and then punched a hole in the seat. But uh, pretty crazy. And uh, we're in, not gonna fix that, just to keep it as a novelty to the bike. And uh, for the bear attack, the uh, hotel management did have footage of uh, the bears getting into the trash cans, but uh, sadly didn't have anything of the bear attacking the bike, so. Uh, that was kind of a bummer, but that's all right. Uh, pretty easy to change your oil in. But I hope this helps you out. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.